Welcome to Charleston Parents Connect. I am Danica Todd, your certified doula, licensed massage therapist, and certified yoga and Pilates instructor. It is my intention through sharing content and creating community to transform your relationships, inspire connection, and lead communities to live unapologetically. Today, I'm going to give you permission to put down the rope in the battle of tug of war with potty training. I want you to be the hero in your child's life, and sometimes that means you change diapers a little longer and enjoy not needing to pull over on the side of the road for emergency potty breaks. So all joking aside, guys, we are going to look at what the American Academy of Pediatrics says about potty training. We're going to compare that to my personal experience with Dharma and then look how we can take it slow and make it fun for everyone. So just to be clear, this isn't a quick remedy. I am not promising to have your kids out of diapers and clenching the public toilet ASAP. And if that's what you're looking for, for this overnight magic trick, this video is not a great place for you to start. So the American Academy of Pediatrics claims that if your child stays dry at least two hours at a time during the day or is dry after naps, they're ready to be potty trained along with bowel movements becoming regular and predictable, facial expressions, posture, or words reveal that your child is about to go to the bathroom. You follow, your child can follow simple instructions. Uh, they can walk to and from the bathroom and help undress. They seem uncomfortable with dirty diapers and want to be changed. They ask to use the potty or they ask to wear grown up underwear. So let's look into that. Are they really ready for potty training? Here is my issue with their assessment. Most children are curious at this point, but they aren't disciplined or really ready to be potty trained. So a lot of times what I notice, myself included with Dharma, is we start to see these signs and we interpret them as being ready for potty training. And they're really just curious about what's going on and they're not fully ready to commit to that transition. So we all have that one friend, right? The one whose child figures it out at like 18 months old and never has an accident in their life, but they aren't the norm. See, they are the outliers. And we're all comparing ourselves to that one anomaly. And that's not fair. So you're left standing there frustrated and wondering what's wrong with your child? What are you doing wrong? The truth really boils down to them not being ready, even if you are. So throwing away all the diapers and saying, we're done, often leaves you frustrated, cleaning up accidents, and your child upset. Dharma showed signs as early as 18 months. She started training at daycare at two and she had pee accidents for two years and she took forever to sleep through the night dry. So when Macy started showing the same curious signs, I knew better. We went to the store and we picked out a new potty seat. We made sitting on it fun and we waited. We waited a long time actually. And when he was three and a half, he trained himself in three days. He was ready when he was ready. And there was no amount of bribery that was going to make it happen one second sooner. So my unofficial parent to parent support on such a huge milestone in your child's life is to forget what your friends, your neighbors, or your family members are doing 
Listen to your child. Follow their cues. Don't push it. Make it fun and give tons of positive reinforcement. Because let's face it, no one goes to kindergarten not knowing how to go to the bathroom. That is unless they have a good reason. And those parents aren't the ones watching these videos. I personally didn't even make sitting on the potty a fun game until Macy consistently woke up dry in the morning, which means no pull-ups either. So how do you feel about hearing that this week? Did you find value in what you learned? Or were you left feeling frustrated that there isn't a, an easy 24-hour process? I know it was way less stressful for me the second time around when I just realized that I needed to relax about the whole thing. If you found that today's video was actually valuable and you would like to stay connected to more resources like this, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my free resource by joining my email list and then connect to the Facebook group at Charleston Parents Connect and start connecting with other parents just like you. I look forward to seeing you again on Monday for our weekly recipe post. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.